can't even imagine what the pigs are going through in confinement in this building. Because people want to eat their bodies, their dead bodies, for some fucking no unknown reason when it's a fucking carcinogen and destroying- I'm, I'm not- I'm obviously not vegan for the environment or health, but it's shit for the environment too. Like, what fucking reason do we have to fucking continue animal agriculture? Go vegan! Looky here, another factory farm right by my house. It's either, you know, pigs or chickens. Because people decide to not give a fuck about animals and treat them like objects, machines, products to sell. They are not here for us. They are here for themselves. Like, <laughs> I hate this. I hate living where I live, but I'm proof the world is changing because I went vegan and I became an animal rights activist. And the world is changing because we're learning that it's kind of fucked up. We can find animals into these tiny spaces after breathing them in existence just to truck them to the slaughterhouse and slit their throats just for like sensory pleasure and profit. It can't hold up for that fucking long. Looky there, another chicken factory farm. Uh, this one is actually owned by this person, uh, this little girl when I rode the bus and went to high school. I was friends with her and her dad owns that. So she's learning. Her dad's a factory farmer, like what the heck? Here we have another factory farm. Yay. And another factory farm. And keep in mind, these were not at my house like a year ago. They've, they've all shown up in the same year. Now do not get me wrong. I am not in favor of local farms. There is no humane way to do this, but just the way that factory farming has taken over and that it's, it's so, so inhumane and terrible. It's just really depressing. You can see there's somebody doing something. And the other chicken factory farm, I saw he had his kids over there and I was like, well, <laughs> Yeah, what a great thing to teach your kids how to raise animals in confinement and then slit their throats for no good reason. Like, no, I'm gonna teach my kids compassion. Just simply don't put corpses in your mouth or steal the breast milk meant for a baby animal. Or eat chicken periods or bee vomit. Just like, leave the animals alone. It's not that hard of a concept. Ah, uh, okay, so yeah. Anyway, living in the middle of animal agriculture as an animal rights activist is terrible. But, you know, I'll be okay. <sighs> Here's a field of cows. You can see the baby ones. This is obviously, you know, better way of... Well, I mean, there's no better way, but yeah. There's a what you call local beef farming. This is how animals should live, only we shouldn't slit their throats and bulk on them in the head after it. We should just let them live out their entire lives like this. Peace. At peace. Happy. Staying with their families. Getting to live. Oh my gosh, it's a baby running. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, I love animals. That's why I'm an animal rights activist. Look at all the baby ones. It's spring right now. And these babies, you see them with their moms. That's how cows should be. Fuck dairy. It's traumatic for both the mother and the baby to get separated. And humans are like, I'm a baby cow. I'm going to drink the baby cow growth fluid. Shut up. You're not a baby cow. Stop consuming dairy. It's fucking cruel bad for your health and everything else like what reason is there the cows are looking at the car they can hear me talking about it i'm talking about you guys because you know defending you is what i do anyway probably gonna put this this video on um youtube there's cows over there too okay anyway probably gonna put this on youtube for some reason because i was traumatized just now because I saw something very, very traumatizing. Um, yeah. If you can still hear me, basically my mom and I were going walking through the woods out back by our house and I saw a dead, we saw two dead 
pigs and their rotting bodies. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Oh no, they're leaving. I don't want to shoot them. Oh my god. They're scared. I don't want to scare them. I might go. Love you guys. Peace. Peace. See how the mother's protective of the baby. Oh, there's another cow over here. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? Okay. This has looked weird this entire time. So basically, okay, so I stopped. Basically, um, we saw something and it looked like dead animals and I recognized it. I recognized them, their dead bodies by the hooves. And it was two, one was like a, not really an adult, but not really a baby. It was like in between. The other one was an adult, I think, um, pigs and their bodies were dead and decaying. You know, uh, in fact, pig factory farms where they have the dead bins where are like the dead sows that don't make it before the slaughterhouse because we've raped them so many times and made them have so many babies, their organs are coming out of their butt or something, like, or their vagina, but you know, all this complete and utter bullshit we do to animals or like they die from the diseases and from, this is intensive pig farming and it's where the vast majority of pig meat comes from. So I knew, and I've seen dead, dead bins from, you know, meet the victims. And so I know what it's like. I know a lot of them die before, just like with chicken factory farming. So I knew what it was and I immediately started crying and I went back and it's been confirmed. So pigs are my favorite animal. I'm vegan. I have been for almost a year and a few days. And I'm an animal rights activist. It's the number one thing in my life, being active for these animals. Especially, I don't want to pick favorites, but you know, pigs are my favorite and they're so intelligent and they go through so much fucking torture in meat production. So just seeing that firsthand and being that close to dead pigs that died from the meat industry, it's fucking horrific. And I was in shock and I went to my room and I started crying again. And my vegan friends are there for me, but holy shit. You know how like Joey and like other animal rights activists always talk about like, you know, this is so traumatic for me because I've seen, I've been up and close and personal with it. I've seen slaughter, I've seen slaughter, you know, firsthand. And now I feel like <laughs> I'm kind of at that level. There's dead pig, oh my God, there's a truck going by with cows in it probably for fuck's sake. Anyway. I because I have seen like, with my own two eyes the dead victims of the meat industry, animal agriculture. And I know they died horribly probably. And it's just so fucked up. And yeah, I feel, am I at that level now that there's dead factory farm pigs being dropped in my out my back door? at the forest that I just, I like to walk in, you know, just want to just take a fucking stroll. Then there's corpses of pigs who had no hope and we took everything from them just because we want to sell their dead bodies and eat their dead bodies for our trivial sensory pleasure. It's not fucking worth it and it's time to go vegan. It's time for, you know, not just us going vegan, but like changing the fucking system and giving animals their rights. And, you know, animal liberation, basically the same thing. <sighs> yeah, I don't know why I decided to drive around and go look at factory farms because I live in the middle of the animal agriculture industry. My dad used to be a cow farmer. Now he technically, he farms plants, but he sells them to the meat industry. I am no stranger to animal ag and I grew up in... Uh, FFA for four years and I took a class on agriculture which went over animal ag and I was well versed in animal agriculture but once you wake up and see it from the victim's perspective you cannot justify what we do to them. Lions though, plants will paint, it's all uh, complete and utter bullshit. The only answer is going vegan. 
So, yeah. Been through a bit of trauma. <laughs> like, I already had fucking trauma from knowing what they go through and seeing their corpses ever around me and people not giving a fuck even though you tell them straight to their face. You're contributing to animal abuse. Maybe you should stop. No, they're too fucking selfish and apathetic. Yes, I know there's some amount of conditioning like I was. I ate animal products, you know, their dead bodies and their stolen bodily secretions for um, 19 years. I just turned 20 and my one year vegan anniversary is in four days. Um, I mean, I decided to go vegan that night, so technically five days, because that's the first day I ate vegan, but you know what I'm saying. <sighs> I don't know. There, it's a mixture. It's a mixture. People aren't angels, and I'm not going to act like they are, and I'm not going to also be an apologist. I am a voice for these animals, and that is the number one thing in my life, to be honest. Because, I don't know, it's just such an obvious injustice and it's been going on for so long that people don't even fucking question it anyway it's fun because I've never met another vegan in real life I've never fucking done IRL activism I'm just silent I just do everything on my phone hopefully if you're watching this video you go vegan and you stay vegan it's not that hard. Stop just convincing yourself it's so hard. It is not that hard. There's a cow over there. He's cute. Or she. I am not assuming a cow's gender, you know, because I always assume, I just call animals he, and I'm like, that's low-key a reflection of how we, you know, think men are like, I don't know what I'm saying, but like, you don't see an animal and you're like, a she, you just assume that it's a he all the time, I don't know, it's just a reflection of how, you know, men are superior, I don't freaking know, but I'm trying to say they instead, but I always say he, because that's what I did even as a kid, but yeah, anyway, also never call animals it. Anyway, my point with this, literally.